Welcome to my Dubai vlog, which I have to say is full of a lot of voiceovers, guys. So I hope you love a voiceover, but I just thought it was a great way for me to show you my Dubai trip and all of the places that we visited. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dubai. I'm actually a little bit worried that you can't hear me because it's so loud outside. Like, the building work going on is crazy. I feel like Dubai it just always has so much building work going on. Anyway, today is day two. We got here yesterday and yesterday we went to Drift Beach. So this is Drift Beach. We actually visited here last time we were in Dubai, but last time was a lot quieter. This time, although we were early in these videos, it looked very quiet. It was actually really busy. Our first meal of the trip had to be a chicken Caesar salad and a cider chips. That's like our standard beach club meal. A couple of cocktails, and this is just a really easy, chill vibe, and we just love it here. It's one of my favorite beach clubs in Dubai. So that was a little bit of footage I got from there, and we had a really lovely day. The only thing is we didn't have a sunbed. Then last night we went to, oh my god, where did we go last? Erla, we went to Erla, which was, oh my god, it was a nightmare to find. We literally walked the length of Dubai Mall and I had the most uncomfortable heels on ever. But we made it and the dinner was amazing. Um, Abby, my friend who I'm with, who you guys, I feel like a lot of you know from other videos, she has a food page on Instagram. So she's like so into her food and places to go. So she's like basically booked the itinerary for the trip and I just have no idea what we're doing half the time, which is great because I'm so unorganized and she's very organized and she's really good at picking like good places. So yeah, where we ate last night was so nice. It was like really chill. Welcome to Erla, which is one of the most spectacular settings I've ever had dinner in. It's right next to the Burj Khalifa and you can also see the Dubai fountains from here as well we both agreed it would be the most perfect date night setting but of course i'm here with my best friend and it is one of the best dates you know i had the sea bass abby had the chicken and then we shared truffle mash and asparagus look at the burj khalifa at night guys wow okay so we're at dinner and um this came out <laughs> i didn't really know what it was about but... <laughs> yeah, the guy knew my name and abby got me this for um, my cakey vlog <laughs> the food was like so good and then we just had like oh, i was saying early night it was like midnight by the time or maybe like one in the morning before we went to bed here and today we're up early and we're going to namos beach so today we have a sunbed it's going to be like a full day of kind of like sunbathing chilling having a few drinks and i'm also meeting my friend alice today as well which a lot of you know from instagram um it just so happens we're out here at the same time so we're going to meet up with her and yeah, I'm gonna start the vlog today as well. So welcome to Dubai, and hopefully it is a good trip and vlog. So this is Namos, and this was our favorite daytime place that we went to. They actually have a Dior takeover at the moment, which was really cool, but look how beautiful the entire place is, like, it's actually breathtaking. So it has this kind of restaurant area that got so, so busy, and it was so much fun. And how aesthetically pleasing does my bag look with this gorgeous furniture? <laughs> then you go all the way down this path to the beach area, where we just spent the day chilling on sun lounges. This is my breakfast. It doesn't really look that great, but honestly, it was unreal. It was Greek yogurt honey fruit and walnuts it was just sensational and then we had cocktails of course and my friend alice joined us too she got herself a fruit platter and then we ended up in mcdonald's whenever i'm in a different country i always have to try the mcdonald's and i always go for their speciality so we've got here a macarabia chicken can't wait to try it also guys look at the color of the fanta in different countries it's always so orange because there's no like you know in the uk something to do with like the sugar tax or something they can't do it as sugary here look at the color of it good morning guys how are we all i hope everyone is well um at the moment i'm actually at the most beautiful beach club today it's called twiggy and it's at the grand hyatt it's literally incredible i'm just under this like cabana style thing just here and i'm actually like got my laptop here the girls are asleep um, and I'm just about to do a little bit of work and then, um, yeah, I'll be chilling for like the rest of the day, hopefully. It is about 2 p.m. here. Update on my sandals, by the way, guys. They rub so bad, so that's not great. I actually ended up buying them in different colors as well, but I didn't realize they rubbed. So this was our first time visiting Twiggy. I believe it's fairly new. The pool is so cool. It's like you're on a beach, so you have the sand that goes into a swimming pool, like the sand goes into the swimming pool, and then it's an infinity pool into the sea, so it gives the illusion that you are in the sea. It was just so clever. How gorgeous 
are these toilets, guys. By the way, I've literally not done any outfits of the day. So this dress I actually wore last night with a blazer, but I got it from Zara last year. And it's just like a little silk cami top, like cami top, cami dress sort of thing. And then my necklaces are Monica Vinader. And like I have this little um, bang leaf necklace on as well. Just laid those up. And yeah, I was wearing it with a white linen shirt and I'm just about to change into my bikini. Yum, yum. Here is our food today. We've got a plate of chips, two lobster rolls and a burrata. Nice little burrata. What is it? Bruschetta. Sorry, we've got burrata on the mind. We've eaten so much this trip. Little pizza and sunset, guys. How cute is that? Good evening. I am so burnt, guys. My forehead, so yeah, like my forehead is so burnt. But I actually meant my scalp. My goodness, like honestly, when will I learn that I just don't tan? All I do is burn, and I just should sit underneath an umbrella all day. Anyway, we're going out for like a very casual night tonight. I'm actually going to take you guys along because I have like shown you bits and pieces, but not loads. I'm going to quickly show you my outfit before I leave. Um, I actually haven't even shown you the hotel. To be honest, this hotel is like pretty kind of basic. But we've stayed here about three times before and it's just really cheap and it's in a really easy and good location. So yeah, it's it's really not great though. But I'm going to quickly show you my outfit and then we need to leave. Okay, this is the reason I haven't shown you my outfits because look how bad this mirror is. Like it's just terrible. Um, but this is my outfit this evening. There's even like a mark on the mirror, oh my goodness. I just have on this slim bralette, which I got um, for Ibiza last year. Then I just have on this linen shirt, which actually you guys saw recently, it's from Naked Fashion. These white trousers from Zara, which I've always had a year. And do you wanna see what I just did to the bottom of them? I just like hacked them with a pair of scissors because they're too long for me. And how bad is that? But I mean, we're just gonna pretend that they're not a complete mess. Then guys, I haven't shown you yet, but you know, I just bought the brown MS sandals. Well, I ended up getting them in black as well because I love them so much and I felt like my wardrobe needed them for holiday. Then I just have on my classic Chanel flap. And this is my outfit of the night in this terribly lit mirror. We are at, can you see where we are? Cheesecake Factory. Guys, do you want to be on the vlog? Yeah. Abby, Alice, here they both are. <laughs> and look at our plate of nachos. Also, look at the size of Alice's drink compared to the size of her head. <laughs> Honestly, these drinks are huge. Listen to my laugh then. Look at uh, these nachos. <laughs> they look amazing. Mm -hmm. The food here is always like gigantic. Like honestly, the portion sizes are a joke, but the food's always really good. So having like a chilled night tonight. And I say look at the size of Alice's drink. Look at the size of mine. And it's actually so much sugar in here as well. And um, it tastes fantastic. Okay, mains are here. I mean, I wanted breaded chicken and that's exactly what it is. Look at all this mashed potato. I wanted to be healthy in oh. asparagus. Look at the measly asparagus. Oh, I'm really jealous of, I've got Abby food envy. tacos and Alex has a tower. Yeah, a tower of buffalo wings <laughs> and chips. And by the way, look, this is where we're sat. By the fair. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Today is another beautiful day in Dubai and I'm actually just currently waiting for Abby. I came out and realized I didn't put any deodorant on and considering the heat here is a lot, that's not a good idea. So I literally just went to the pharmacy. She went and got a coffee and today we're going to a place called Blah Blahs, which is a beach club, which should be kind of fun. Uh, I'll quickly show you where I am. I'm literally on like JBR walk, um, which I actually stay here pretty much every single time I come to Dubai. It's just really easy. So yeah, this is like a standard car in Dubai. You've got a Lamborghini and this is like JBR walk here. I actually really like Dubai. I feel like over the years, it's become one of those places that everyone's like, oh, everyone goes to Dubai, which is true. But I do know why everyone comes here because it is, it's like, this is my fourth time. And even though I do like visiting new places and I already explained in another video why I'm here now, but it's just standardly so good. There's so many good restaurants. It's so safe, it's so clean. And so yeah, the beach clubs and everything are just so good. So I get why everyone wants to come, to be honest. And if you haven't been, I would definitely recommend it, despite what like some people say online. Here is Samantha from Sex in the City. <laughs> what coffee have you got then, Ab? I've got an oat uh, ice latte. Let me, go, let me go this way, because the light's better. I've got an oat ice latte from Arabica. Ooh. Love this coffee. And I got some sugar syrup inside too. Okay. Just to get me started for the ladies' yeah, day. She's a coffee lover. I am unfortunately. That's a lie, I am a coffee lover as well, but I can't drink caffeine, so I don't often drink it. And then I was always drinking decaf coffees, and then I read somewhere that decaf coffee is so full of chemicals that I stopped, so yeah. Anyway, we're actually walking to the beach club today. We usually get cabs everywhere, but the beach club is really close. 
So, yeah, we think, <laughs> hopefully, not as very it's good like, directions on this holiday at all. No, we have not. It's been pretty tragic. Like, literally, we've got lost every single day. We did not know what we were letting ourselves in for with this place. It was kind of like Xanti, but in Dubai. It wasn't the vibe we were going for, but it was fun. So our food has arrived. We've gone for chicken Caesar, the sliders, and there's a cocktail. Looks quite nice, actually. There's a fly there. That doesn't look nice. Go away. <laughs> we are at the beach club, and I've just realized I have one bar of battery left. We've got our wristbands on. We literally feel like we were at Ocean Beach. Like, didn't really realize the vibe here was like the yeah, Ocean Beach vibe. Yeah, we're just gonna just go with the flow today. I would show you around, but I don't ever like showing around on vlog when people are in their bikinis, because I swear to God, if anyone ever videoed me and put me on the internet in my bikini and I didn't know, I'd be quite sad about it. I don't know if you can hear me because it's so loud in here, but we drank eight cocktails and we were sober. They watered the down so bad, didn't they? Just walking back from the beach club and Abby just told me how much today was. Was, and it was 60 pounds for two of us so yep. 30 pound each which is so cheap and so now it made me realize why the drinks were so watered down and why it wasn't really the most amazing place you had a ever. meal with that as well yeah you had a meal you had like i showed you the meal so you had all of that food and all those drinks which were crap but yeah nevertheless and a whole day and a sun lounger <laughs> like i can understand now why it was like it was but it was sort of like a semi good day wasn't yeah. it and if any of you come here on a hen party or like you're with like a big group of like your friends or something like that stag party if any guys are watching this vlog maybe order some shots along with like the free watered down drinks yeah and you'll true be fine. <laughs> but it's a really good place to go because yeah, it's just like, it's the, the music's good, like it's very kind of like fun, it's literally like Ocean Beach Ibiza. Um, but yeah, if you're coming like with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you want to have a chill day, yeah. it's not the place yeah. for you. Really not the place for you. But, um, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know because I was actually shocked at how much it costs. And the reason I was shocked is because, I'm just going to turn this way a second because the light that way is so bad. The reason I was shocked is because Abby's actually like organised most of the days, most of the dinners, most of the lunches, and so I just kind of go along. And so I didn't know how much it costs, so there we go. I'm also going to take this part of the vlog to show you guys where we're staying. So this is a really nice hotel over here. Rixos Premium JBR, really lovely hotel. But no, we are staying <laughs> over here. Oh. Let me zoom in on the gorgeous bridge <laughs> where we're staying. So here it is here. It's the Moven Pick JBR. There's quite a lot of Moven Picks in Dubai, so you don't want to get confused. So Abby and I have stayed in this hotel, I want to say like at least two or three times. The reason we stay here is just because the location is so good, but also it's super cheap. If I was to come away with like a boyfriend or like my boyfriend, so, so weird saying the word boyfriend, but anyway, if I was to come away with him, I would want to stay somewhere like nice. But I'm not saying this isn't nice, it's super clean. All the hotels in Dubai are actually quite nice, but it's just not luxurious and it's a bit dated. But the location's great and it's so cheap. So I'm gonna show you inside. And by the way, just like a little COVID update, the only place you need to wear a mask in Dubai is like inside. So I'd say the only place we ever get told off and told to wear masks is inside lobbies of hotels. And like the rest of the place on the streets is like you don't have to wear them at all. Everyone is staring at me vlogging, it's crazy. Yeah, I've just put my mask on as I go into the hotel. So this is the revolving door into the hotel. I feel like this is something out of a movie. And as you can see, it's very kind of dark in here. Lots of marble style floors. I remember when we first stayed here, we actually thought it was like really nice, but it just suddenly feels so dated. But as I said, the location is great. So if any of you want to come here on holiday, but feel like Dubai is super expensive, stay at this hotel. It's a bargain, but the location is fab. So it's a very tall building and we're on floor 21. Okay, so we're gonna show you the room. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> The room is so messy. How bad is it? There's like stuff just everywhere. It's not, not a vibe. <laughs> it's not a vibe. But you know, like whatever. I feel like every girl's room on holiday. Like, why is my head so shiny? I feel like every girl's room on holiday is always a mess. So I'm just gonna show you how bad it is. But no, it gives you like a. <laughs> no, it is really bad. But oh well, who cares? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick room tour whilst my camera is live, it's about to die. So this is the bathroom. As you can see, all of our products on the side. Oh my God, there's literally so much stuff. A little bit of fake tan there, I'm sorry, but we are the girls that fake tan on holiday. Unfortunately, we don't really tan very well, so we have to apply the tan. 
but we both forgot tans we had to buy this at the airport and if any of you are tanners out there never ever ever buy this St Moritz and it's like the dark color corrector one we actually love St Moritz rate it we've been using it since school I do use other tans but you know like sometimes I use that however that's terrible and this is like our makeup and stuff just everywhere so this is how the bathroom looks you have this bath and then these kind of like doors open up i'm going to climb in the bath and show you how it works you kind of push these open and there is the room and there is abby oh abby's opened the curtains for you all guys <laughs> Thank you, like a tiny bit more presentable. <laughs> in here is um the toilet but by the way everything is super clean like i've made it sound like it's awful it's not awful it's just not luxurious then here is the shower out here you have this long mirror and then you have like our hair stuff out here here is Abby once again. And then this is the room Can't itself. <laughs> He's trying to frantically tidy up. It's, it's, like, when, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like when you've got gear yeah, and your it's mum's trying down. to run around. It actually doesn't look bad on camera at all. Like, it's, um, do you know what? It's actually not bad anyway. The room size is actually really quite big. So we've got two, they're not quite double beds, but they're like, you know, like nearly double beds. Is it a queen size? Is that what you call it? Something like that. But anyway, they're, they're next to each other like this. You've got two chairs over here. And then this is the room from this angle so there you go you can like see back into the bathroom there and yeah there's my suitcase all over the floor our cases. yeah we literally just our clothes are everywhere and there's like some bags and bits and pieces there more bags abby suitcase oh god there's abby's thong um <laughs> and now like out onto the balcony and because the sun's really low you can't really see our view but i mean this is how high we are oh my god i'm scared i'm gonna drop my camera but yeah, so from this direction, which I haven't even looked at, you it's actually quite a good this view to be honest. Here, but that's really nice. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, this big building here is obviously like flats or something. But through here, maybe I'll show you in the morning when the sun's not there, you can kind of see the sea through the middle of those two buildings. So as I said, it's definitely not the best hotel in Dubai, like literally so far from it. The hotels at here are unbelievable, some of them. But I think with flights and hotel, it cost us about £1,400 for four nights I think it was which if you think like flights are often like 700 pounds so the hotel ended up being like 700 each which I think maybe may sound like a lot of money but to come to Dubai most of the hotels are like thousands so it's actually super cheap and we've stayed here as I say three times before we really love the location we spend literally no time here other than sleeping and getting ready and it just works for us so if any of you feel like you're in a position like us I'm gonna take them over picture mirror beach by the way we paid for it <laughs> this isn't an ad um but yeah don't also blame me if you feel like it's a shithole because it kind of is sort of not anyway tonight we are going to opa um i think that's how it's called it's where they do like the plate smashing it's a greek restaurant um, we actually had a little bit of trouble getting in but my friend who's my boyfriend who i can never say he actually helped us get a table so we're going i know i think that a boyfriend i feel like i can't say the word i'm like the guy that I'm with who's my friend who's a boy <laughs> yeah crazy but um he books at the table which was really nice of him and we're going there this evening so that should be fun and it's actually like an early evening dinner so I'm actually going to try and vlog a bit tonight vlog a bit tomorrow because I have been a bit strict during this vlog and do you know what the joke is we actually like tomorrow's our last full day why is my face so greasy um yeah tomorrow's our last full day so the time has gone so quickly um, I wish we could extend, but it's been very fun and yeah. Opa! I'm gonna leave the sound on for this part of the video because this restaurant was so fun. But this is like the infamous plate smashing restaurant where you go, you get a pile of plates, there they are, and you smash them on the floor. You can see people in the background, they're just smashing their plates. The food was so good, the vibe was so fun, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. All the waiting staff all get together and they do a little performance as you can see I'm doing it here and everyone's just cheering them on and then eventually they get the whole restaurant up dancing everyone kind of joins hands and dances around the restaurant it's just something a little bit different but it is great fun So much better than we expected. This hummus was the best hummus I've ever eaten in my life. No exaggeration. I had the sea bass and I believe Abby had Welcome back to our beautiful hotel room, guys. Good morning, everyone. Today we are off to 
Ula. Ula. <laughs> I never ever remember what we're doing any days. Um, we're actually there all day today because apparently I think it's like a ladies' day, so we're there for lunchtime and then we're also staying into the evening. So that should be fun. I actually have taken quite a few outfits because I basically have not got much content this trip. Like, yeah, I don't really know what happened to be honest. I'm hoping to shoot like a few of the outfits today. So the first outfit is all white. I'll quickly pan down so you can see. I just have on a Hansa G swimsuit, which is basically the only swimsuits I wear. They're my favorite. All of this jewelry, you'll have probably seen already from my recent video with Monica Vinida. Then I have on this cream, well it's not cream, it's a white linen shirt these white shorts which are so old i have my chanel bag on which is a little bit much for the beach i know and then i have on guys i bought these sandals also in white so this is ula this is where i went on the last day of our holiday and it was lovely but it kind of looked better than it was like aesthetically wise it was so pleasing but in terms of having a good time it was just so chilled and to be honest as much as abby and i love each other's company we were literally on our own all day i mean there were like babies and couples and stuff around but it wasn't very vibey which was a bit of a shame but it was still such a nice place if you start sinking or this part of the video is like slightly wonky, it's because you are balancing on like a tree trunk, a beach bag, a Celine hat and many other things and clothes. Anyway, um, where did we leave you? We went last night to Opa. Uh, it was actually so nice. Like I felt like we thought the food wasn't going to be very good. I don't know why we kind of like came to that assumption. We thought the experience would outweigh the food. Yeah, but the food was actually like unreal. Like some of the best we've actually had it was mm. so good. And then obviously you get the plates, which you have to pay for. They're like 50 dirham for 15, is that right? Oh no. 150. 150, <laughs> okay, wow. That's actually kind of a lot. That's like 30 pounds or something, smash plates. And then you get up and then you smash them, which is really cool. But basically, I didn't smash a single plate because some days I'm like, am I an introvert, am I an extrovert? And the truth is, is in situations like that, oh my God, it's falling over. Like that is when I know I'm such an introvert. Like I actually couldn't even get up out of my seat to smash the plates, which is so sad. Abby smashed, was it 15? 15. <laughs> 15 plates. Um, with some guy who like worked there who was really cute. But it was just like such good vibes. Everyone was so happy and um, it was really fun. So if you come to Dubai, 100% recommend going there because it was, yeah, just like really fun and the food was great. Anyway, today we're at a place called Erla. No? Ula. Ula, <laughs> my God, I get everything wrong, We did I go swear. to a place called Erla. We Erla. did, oh, we did, yeah, on like the first night. Um, and it's really chilled. It's actually in Duke's Hotel, which is on the Palm. And yeah, I, I kind of thought it'd be more like, like busy, like a yeah, more of a beach so. club vibe, but it's actually like very chill and low key. Sorry, my makeshift tripod keeps blowing over in the wind. Um, yeah, but it's really nice like, to be here and stuff anyway. But yeah, it's kind of like Mykonos vibes. Like the whole place literally makes you feel like you're in Mykonos. Anyway, we have lunch. Abby has had <laughs> a Verata salad. I'll quickly show you. So Ab's lunch um. here. She's like demolished. And my lunch here oh is, um, yeah, so I went for like a beetroot and um, feta salad. I ate so much feta last night. So yeah, I'm literally going to turn into a block of feta before I know it. And also we have smoothies as well. This is like my first day of the holiday. I have no work to do. So it's going to be nice just to chill out and enjoy the sunshine. And we're actually staying here into the evening as well. So hopefully it kind of livens up a little bit. <laughs> because it's, do you know what? Like it's nice vibes now, but like we need a little bit of liveliness, we feel. So far, I feel like the best place we've been. Why do you feel like it's the best place we've been? I feel like I'm mm, probably going to say. Do you think? What, like daytime as well? Oh, daytime, uh, Namos. Yeah, 100%, that's what I was gonna say, Namos. We decided to get some more food because, you know, why not? We actually haven't had sushi the whole trip, so we've got some sushi. Look how gross this is. We dropped a bit of lettuce and it's just dried to the bed. <laughs> so attractive. I don't know if any of you ever feel like this, but because I don't tan very well, as much as I like sunbathing, it's just a waste of time in for my life, like, yeah, so I just thought instead I'd show you what I've been bringing to the beach every day and some products that I've loved using whilst on this holiday. So look how cute my little pouch is. It's obviously from my Katie Loxton edit. So it's got my initials on the front, if you didn't know, Freya Killing. And then it's like this really gorgeous canvas material, but they actually do these in all different colors, different stitching. So these products have come in this pouch every single day. So starting off first of all is this Kate Somerville. This is a 50, like factor 50, so it's really high. But it's a spray and it's so good for 
like just it's just really easy application for as a sun cream you can put it on your face as well then I've been using this one here which is cordially this one is actually designed for your face this is factor 30 so I've been putting this on every day except for the first day I forgot and my forehead was very burnt and then two perfumes like always carry and um, perfumes around so this one is from a brand called Toka who I recently discovered and it's just like a really floral kind of light scent I tend to wear really oud perfumes and they're a bit heavy for daytime so this is really nice for daytime and then this Laura Mercier one I told you about this a few weeks ago in a vlog but it's unreal it literally smells like holidays in a bottle I wish you guys could smell it this smells like coconuts and just basically how you imagine holidays to smell with a really good tan by the way let me just show you the jewelry that I have on I've got on my usual stack but this one is Monica Vinader um, the little chain brace that I showed you in a recent try on haul and then on this wrist I have on my watch I, which is always the wrong time by the way it's just never ever bright when you take these off they stop so yeah I have on my watch and it's also a little bit big for me as well at the moment I have on my tennis bracelet which is from Purely Diamonds and then I have on my Monica Vinader um, like chunky bangle I think it looks like a really nice stack all together like that something else I've been taking just recently is this so these are I, I mean it's one of those things where you're like I see people taking collagen and I'm still like, does it work? However, I've been taking this for like two months. It's from this brand called Zuki. And it's really good because it's like a jelly form. So you just pour it into a glass of water or something like that. You can also just shot it like this. But I feel like I, I do feel so much better and I do feel like it has made me look different since using it. And to be honest, I just think with all these things, they can't really do you any harm. I've done my research into the brands and things like that. And this one is one of the best collagen brands around. I've done my research and I thought, you know, even if it makes me look a mildly bit different, it'll be worth taking it every day. The sunset from Ula was so pretty, we actually sat until it got dark and then we headed into their restaurant. Abby's just getting her moves out. <laughs> Two drinks down. <laughs> we now have this much stuff on pizza, like literally one each. What the hell, how much was this? Uh, I don't know actually. Probably 4,000 dirham. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've actually been sat here for like three hours. <laughs> we've got chocolate mousse, churros, each, by the way, each. The DJ is still going. The lights are still on of Dubai. Abby and I are just on the golf cart going back to the hotel. <laughs> Hopefully all the way home. This morning we are at Expectation and this is a place that Abby and I used to come every single morning of our other trips like honestly this is on JBR this is the location of it it's just here spot. yeah it's very popular and then I just quickly like show you the menu so it's like very like brunchy vibes oh they look really nice today is actually our last day so sad I'm actually in the outfit I'm gonna be wearing to the airport um, I feel like this week has gone so quickly we were only here, was it five nights? Yeah, yeah. five nights. Um, and honestly, with Dubai, I genuinely think you could stay, well, I feel like we could stay for like two weeks. Like, honestly, I know people say they need to leave. But I think you need to leave if you party the whole time, but we haven't partied once. We were very tame this year for us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we kind of feel like there was more we'd like to have done, but you know, it was nice to have a little break. But I just, like, if you guys are thinking of coming, I honestly would book for at least a week, maybe longer, because, you know, you'll never get bored here, I don't think, anyway. Um, but yeah, we've had a great time. It's been so nice to get away. I feel very, like, grateful for being able to get away. And it's just made us both want to book loads of trips this mm -hmm. summer. So, yeah, hopefully this will be the first of many trips of 2022. If any of you are debating going on holiday out there, go on holiday. We lost literally two years of our lives, and it is time to get them back <laughs> and our food has arrived and we're being attacked by flies right now but we went for is it the californian benedict Ooh, california dreaming okay i always get things wrong we've got potatoes asparagus two poached eggs smoked salmon loads of potatoes and they always do this random bit of fruit on the side which you know is very nice look at this self-service checking guys there goes my bag and here goes Abby's bag. She's just attached her tag onto the side. We should have got paid me for this. 
Yeah. And off it goes. There goes the gate. <laughs> um, Have a safe flight. Please make it. Please make it. Yeah. And away I love she you. goes. <laughs> Oh, Bye. Baby. Please don't break. I only just realised I never actually wrapped this vlog up because I came home and I actually got COVID, which was a little bit crap. But this is my flight home. Can anyone guess the film? It's obviously Harry Potter, but which Harry Potter is it? That is the question. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope so much you've enjoyed this vlog. And if any of you are going to Dubai anytime soon, I hope this has kind of helped you find some new places you might want to visit.